Let's have a look at what's happening on the currency markets at this hour then. Uh, let's pull up some of the most oft-traded uh, currency pairs. they have got the euro against the dollar at 126.01, so down at three-tenths of a percent, but still well above the 125 level. Dollar-yen at 89 at spot 09 in the wake of that election over in Japan. The U.S. dollar does seem to be a little bit stronger right now. The pound just slipping a touch. Let's have a look at what's happening on the Korean won as well, because the central bank there has upgraded its forecasts for economic growth and inflation. Inflation just days after it raised the policy interest rate. You may remember that that surprised the markets last week. Let's get details now on all the latest moves. Mario Singh is Director of Training and Education at FXPrimus.com and joins us now. Mario, thanks for coming in to talk to us. Um, so we've got these stress tests that, of course, are dominating the headlines in Europe again. We've seen reports or research over the weekend that suggests maybe 90 billion euros are going to have to be raised by some of Europe's banks in order to enable these banks to pass the stress test. How do you play the euro before we get to the date of uh, publication? Something, I think the, the, later on this month, essentially. Hi, and well, we're essentially 10 days away from the release of the stress test results. What's basically been happening for the last one week, we've seen a whole uh, uh, flow of risk. Um, uh, appetite is coming up into the forex market. So what we are seeing is that the euro dollar has popped up literally about four to 500 pips in the last one week alone. So coming towards the uh, stress test, I do see that um, it's going to be trading in a tight range. The euro dollar, everybody wants to see, traders and myself alike. We want to see the results of the stress test. Although um, some of the minor reports that's coming up, we are seeing that the, 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 the signs basically are going to be good that uh, the euro basically what they are having they will be raising the 90 billion dollars it isn't going to be so much of, an, uh, of a big problem than raising that huge amount so we'll see that coming in about 10 days time Mario, it's Yusuf here in the Middle East. Let me join the conversation. Looking at the U.S. dollar, it has been losing against high yielders in particular. What's your short-term outlook there? How's this one going to develop? Well, that's a great question. I'm seeing in, in, in a bit of a both a combination. What's happening when you see everything taking off, when you see all the high-risk assets are heading upwards, when we see the Aussie dollar popping up, we see the Canadian dollar shooting upwards, what we are basically seeing is a marriage between China. Now, China has got great eco data coming out of, uh, of the country. Um, basically, what we saw, uh, I think, was the last couple of days, we saw that China was having great data. We are seeing that, I think, was their, their export sales literally shot up about 43.9%, and that literally doubled their trade surplus to $20 billion. Now, make no mistake about it, we are seeing China as the driver of global economic growth. That being number one, when China literally starts moving ahead, we see all the risky assets, we see the loonie, the Canadian dollar, uh, we see the Aussie and the Kiwi all moving upwards because all of them are literally correlated to how China moves the but growth really market. begs the question as to why there seems to be this big inner debate within China to actually tighten more or throw in another stimulus package. What are the data points this week going to tell us and which direction Will that lead to the Chinese leadership's uh, policy directions? I think I'm going to answer that basically on the start of how um, the U.S. Uh, will very cleverly sidestep mm -hmm. on not labeling China a currency manipulator. I take it more of a political agenda more than an economic agenda. So having on back of that, we all know that China must raise or rather they, they will appreciate the yuan based on their own terms. So this is the point now where China is starting to see there's going to be a good balance between uh, domestic demand and how their exports will play out. Until and unless that comes to, to par, they will not be raising the, uh, the, uh, the appreciation of the exchange rate. Mm, okay, great stuff there. Mario Singh from fxprimus.com. Thank you for joining us.